Hello everyone, in this video I'll show you how you can convert between kilobytes, megabytes and gigabytes, right? So it's important to note that 1024 kilobytes equals 1 megabyte and 1024 megabytes equals 1 gigabyte, right? So the factor we use for conversion is 1024, right? And I've made a diagram here to explain this better when we're converting. Okay, so if we are converting from kilobyte to megabyte, we need to divide by 1024. And if we are converting from megabyte to gigabyte, we again need to divide the megabytes by 1024. On the other hand, if we are walking backwards, if we had to convert gigabyte to megabytes, we'll multiply the amount in gigabytes by 1024. And if we are converting megabytes to kilobytes, again, we'll multiply the amount we have in megabytes by 1024. Now, how do we decide whether we multiply or divide? Well, it's very easy, right? All you need to remember is which unit is smaller and which is higher. So, kilobytes is small or smaller than megabytes and megabytes is smaller than gigabytes, right? They are smaller units of measurement. So you start at kilobytes and then megabytes and then gigabytes. So from kilobytes to megabytes, if I'm going from a smaller unit to a larger unit, I will always have to divide. If I'm coming from a larger unit to a smaller unit, for example, if I'm converting from megabyte to kilobyte, or gigabyte to megabyte, I will always multiply, right? So from a <coughs> larger unit of measurement, I will always have to multiply if I'm converting to a smaller unit of measurement, right? If I'm converting from a smaller unit of measurement to a larger unit of measurement, I will always have to divide, right? And the conversion factor that you use in order to convert between these three units of measurement is 1024. Now we'll do some examples just to understand better, right? So for example, how many megabytes are there in 2048 kilobytes, right? So we are converting kilobytes to megabytes, we need to divide by 1024. So the formula is megabytes is equal to kilobytes divided by 1024. And once we substitute the amount 2048 kilobytes divided by 1024, the answer we get is 2 megabytes, right? In this example, how many gigabytes are there in 4096 megabytes, right? So we're converting megabytes to gigabytes we need to divide by 1024 so the formula is gigabytes is equal to megabytes divided by 1024 so we substitute the amount 4096 divided by 1024 will give us 4 gigabyte right so the answer is 4 gigabytes in this example how many gigabytes are there in 20,000 kilobytes right so we are converting kilobytes to gigabytes that means first we need to convert kilobytes to megabytes and then megabytes to gigabytes so we need to divide kilobytes twice by 1024 so the formula becomes kilobytes divided by 1024 multiplied by 1024 right because we are dividing kilobytes twice by 1024 so once you equate that and substitute the kilobytes amount you get 20,000 divided by 1,048,576 and once you equate that the answer is 0 0.019 gigabytes in this example convert 5 megabytes to kilobytes right so we're going backwards now to convert megabytes back to kilobytes so the formula is kilobytes is equal to megabytes multiplied by 1024 so we'll substitute the amount we've got 5 megabytes multiplied by 1024 and the answer we get is 5120 kilobytes so notice the answer or the amount 5 increases to 5120 because now we're converting a larger unit 
to a smaller unit, right? So we are multiplying. In this example, convert 3.5 gigabytes to megabytes, right? Again, we are converting a larger unit to a smaller unit. So the answer will obviously be higher than 3.5. So the formula is megabytes is equal to gigabytes multiplied by 1024. We'll substitute the amount. So 3.5 multiplied by 1024 gives us 3584 megabytes. In this example, convert 3.5 gigabytes to kilobytes, right? So now we are converting gigabytes to megabytes and then to kilobytes, right? The formula becomes kilobytes is equal to gigabytes multiplied by 1024 multiplied by 1024, right? I've put the 1024 in brackets so we can calculate that first and then multiply it with the gigabyte amount. And why we're using two 1024s? Simply because we first need to convert it to megabytes and then convert it to kilobytes, right? So we multiply by 1024 twice. So once we substitute the amounts, the formula becomes 3.5 multiplied by 1,048,576. And once you equate that, the answer we get is 3,670,016 kilobytes, right? So that's how we convert gigabyte to kilobyte. In conclusion, in order to convert kilobytes to megabytes, we need to divide by 1024. And in order to convert megabytes to gigabytes, we need to divide by 1024. If we have to convert gigabytes to megabytes, we need to multiply by 1024. And if we have to convert megabytes to kilobytes, again, we have to multiply by 1024. If we had to convert kilobytes to gigabytes, first we need to convert to megabytes and then gigabytes. And the same if we are converting gigabytes to kilobytes, right? Thank you very much for watching my video. If you did like it, please share and subscribe for more.